All right. Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like some people got wore out by all that learning, but uh, not the few, the proud. Uh, did everybody uh, learn some great stuff here today? What, what, what specific thing like blew somebody's mind? Shout it out. It's got to be something. How easy containers are, all right? Boyd. That security still sucks. <laughs> that security still sucks. Long for a year, what have you people been doing? <laughs> David. The pace of evolution. Super fast. That is a fair point. Uh, well, cool. We'd like to uh, thank our new venue this year, uh, the, uh, the UT TAC. What do you all think of the new venue? <laughs> Woo! Who all attended Container Days last year at the water park? All right, so we're stepping up the game a little bit. I mean... I don't want to disappoint you if you were uh, big into uh, big into water parks, though. But uh, but uh, we had the opportunity here. They're letting us uh, uh, use the use the facility uh, for free uh, to to have this on. So uh, we'd definitely like to thank them and our other wonderful sponsors uh, who uh, who have made all of this uh, possible. Who's your favorite sponsor, Karthik? My favorite sponsor are all of the gold sponsors because they paid us a lot more money. <laughs> that is fair. Hashtag no filter. Yes. Uh, please, uh, please feel free over the course of the uh, conference to, you know, tweet and thank them, to personally thank them, right? Uh, all of the gold sponsors will have uh, booths out here. Uh, the, uh, of course, the lanyard sponsor, CoreOS, uh, and the, the silver folks are might be milling around here, so uh, you might have to reach out to them. Uh, and of course, Chef for the uh, happy hour uh, this evening and Flux 7 for your breakfasts. Um, so let's have a big hand for all of our sponsors that make this so cheap Woo! for us. Yeah. Um, I'd also like to add two things. Um, so if, if y'all want to like use Twitter or whatever, um, each of these sponsors are on Twitter, so feel free to reach out. Uh, one other thing about, or two things about the TAC. Um, one, they're allowing us to use the venue for container stuff. They do, uh, there were a lot of questions on um, uh, trying to do like a TAC um, uh, sure. tour. Uh, unfortunately, you kind of have to like schedule that ahead of time. Um, and so we can't do that as a part of the conference. That's something we might try and do next year instead. Uh, we'll plan it around a little bit better. Um, but essentially, take a look um, at the TAC website. Um, there's like information on there on like the entire like server, uh, all of the servers that they have there, and kind of what their use is for. Yes, absolutely. And the other reason they haven't been able to do it is uh, this. This is like a. HIPAA and other things compliant facility, so they have to have a, a certain number of number of staffers to the number of people that they're letting into the into the data center and all that. Yes, Boyd. That's what security looks like when it doesn't suck. Yes. Uh, so, um, so uh, apologize, we can't do that this year. Um, did you mention the non-smoking? The other thing about it is uh, this um, this whole event is on the University of Texas campus, and the UT campus has a no smoking. Uh, requirement. So if you do have to smoke, you kind of have to like go all the way um, out of the campus to do that. Yes. Uh, you can carry a piece though, right? Is that a new yes. thing? Okay. <laughs> so no smoking, but you can carry your piece. And uh, the uh, uh, this is a brand new, uh, lovely building. Th I'd like to thank everybody uh, that everybody's been very respectful of it and keeping it clean and nice, right? Uh, there, It's Still all brand shiny new, and you know in academia, right? You you get a brand new shiny building approximately once every thirty years, so they're they're real, they're real like don't take the shine off nothing. So uh, so uh, thanks to everybody, we we didn't have any uh, any trouble uh, today. Uh, it's uh, it's been a great uh, experience. Yeah, continue to do what you're doing because you're doing it really well. Uh, there won't be the need for parking passes tomorrow. Uh, the parking pass uh, thing was just for uh, during uh, Friday during work hours, uh, so. If you just showed up and you're like, parking passes, it's fine uh, after five on Friday and tomorrow you won't have to worry about it. Um, you'll just you know, come in the front gate the same way you uh, came and come park here like you did 
just with slightly less angst, uh, and uh, also uh, there'll be more spots open since uh, uh, the people that actually work here will uh, largely be home except for the fine ones that are helping us, us out. Yes, sir? Oh, well, the, no, the, the guard shack won't be manned tomorrow, I think. Yeah, you can you can probably just drive by there. Um, yeah, I mean, if they run at, at, after your car like the Terminator T two or whatever, like the or T one thousand, then you should probably stop. But uh, barring that, uh, you should be fine. T one thousand, nice reference, man. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow we're gonna start at uh, nine a.m. like we did today. Registration and breakfast at eight. Uh, Matt Garrett will be uh, doing the uh, first uh, the keynote, the morning keynote. Is that what it's that billed? That's correct. As? All right. Morning keynote. Uh, and then uh, Jeff Lindsay of Glider Labs, uh, our our new transplant to Austin uh, will uh, be uh, doing the second talk, and then there will be a kind of ask me anything container panel uh, with a number of people that we've tapped who uh, uh, should be able to answer your uh, more more esoteric container questions. So we wanted to kind of like end the uh, the talks with like w with a panel because we figured like on day one, you know, you kind of like get your hands dirty with containers and then you listen to some talks and, you know, gain some knowledge through during the during the event and then you're like well i have all these questions so we're like well maybe we should do a panel uh where you can just kind of like ask your different questions too um and then that kind of gives us the uh kind of good segue into the second half of the day which ends up being more of a uh, open space sessions a uh, quick show of hands of like how many folks have done like open spaces before wow Great. that's awesome a lot of times you see like four people raise their hand and you're like not really sure about what open spaces are. Um, but for, for those folks who uh, haven't attended an open space session before, want to explain it? Absolutely. So uh, open spaces is the self-organizing portion of the conference. Uh, essentially, we'll have you, you know, people like you, in fact, exactly like you, uh, come up and uh, pitch a topic and say, hey, I, I'd like to get some people together to talk about container security because I want to hear Boyd yell a lot, right? Uh, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll have people with, so we'll do, the, we'll do the solicitation, we'll put them up on a board over lunch, we'll hand out to everybody some little uh, dot stickers and you come and vote for the ones you wanna do, uh, which we'll pretty much use to, to sort things into room size, right? So if a bunch of people wanna talk about container security, we'll put them in here and if, five people want to talk about something else. We have uh, smaller breakout rooms throughout the venue. Uh, and we'll self-organize it into a schedule, and we'll do it. Um, so please, you know, if there's anything that you came to Container Days to learn about that you don't feel like you learned about, you, you don't have to be the expert in it to pitch a session. So right. you can pitch a session because you know something about this and you want to share it, or you can pitch a session because you're like, that's the thing I want to know, uh, and I'd like to have a discussion about it. I want to stress that open spaces, some places open spaces are purely people sitting around in a circle talking to each other. It doesn't have to be that. Please come prepared, right? This is a very technical uh, conference with a lot of practitioners. Come with a demo. Come with, yeah, it, there will be AV in every single one of the uh, open space rooms, right? So, you know, plug in, show actual code, show how things work. Uh, I, I think people get a lot of real value out of that. So just keep in mind, open space uh, doesn't have to be uh, just talking. In fact, if we had Schaefer here, he'd pitch an open space to play the uh, werewolves card game because he loves that. So uh, there's not a set format to that uh, except that, we do it and you, you, know, you go to ones you like. If you end up not liking them, you're free to wander off to another one uh, and we'll do that over the course of the afternoon. Um, there'll be breakfast and lunch uh, and then there'll be like a coffee and cookies in the uh, afternoon. We didn't expect quite this much of a turnout for workshop day actually. Uh, right. <laughs> last year we expected 30 people and got 75 for workshop day. So this year we were like, well, it'll surely be over 75, but uh, we got 180 people uh, of the of the like 225 sold tickets for uh, for uh, today. So uh, that's uh, that's quite remarkable. Um, we went a little bit more grab and go today. We're not going super like DevOps days, super fancy with breakfast and lunch tomorrow, but we're uh, we are uh, stepping it up by uh, a level. So uh, have um, that. To 
And apologies for all the vegetarians in the audience. Um, we we thought we had gotten vegetarian food, but we didn't. So uh, we'll do a better job about that tomorrow for lunch. Um, also, we're going to be doing uh, two o'clock. I think around two o'clock uh, tomorrow, we'll we'll have like a coffee break, um, where you can get some you know uh, some caffeine slash uh, cookies and brownies and stuff like that as well. So that's something we didn't do today because we were thinking that folks would be you know in a class and we weren't sure. Uh, whether folks would be coming out and word and whatnot, but we'll change that tomorrow. Definitely. And then we'd also like to thank all the people that uh, did all the hard work to put on uh, the workshops today for yeah for, for no no compensation other than sharing their knowledge with folks. Um, right? Uh, can we have all the the folks that ran workshops stand up real quick? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so we had uh, Ryan and Josh do uh, Kubernetes, Alan do Mesos, Bill do Docker 101, Sean and Jody do uh, Habitat, and Everett do Swarm. So uh, thanks very much to all those people that took the time to share their expertise. Uh, I think everybody uh, got a lot uh, got a lot out of it. Uh, they were all, the ones I went to were all packed. Uh, so. Yeah, and running, running a workshop is like so much more difficult than giving a talk because when the talk, you're like, you know, 30 minutes, you're like, I can get through this or 45 minutes or one hour, you can get through this really fast. But a workshop, something fails and you're like, well, I still got like, shit, three and a half hours to go. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's, a lot more, it's a lot more stressful. So huge kudos to all of the presenters. Um, we've heard a lot of like great feedback from the audience uh, on the workshop. So we'd really, we really, really appreciate it. So thank you again. Yes, question. Uh, We're gonna... po possibly, so some some of them aren't locals. Uh, the ones that are uh, the one the ones delivered by local folks uh, acclaim them, and uh, perhaps they'll show out. Uh, several of them have already made their uh, materials uh, available, and we'll we'll encourage the rest of them to do so as well. Yeah, we'll try and get slides and uh, any of the content. We'll we'll get it from the folks that presented, and then have it on the containers website at the least. It, in fact, didn't. Uh... Isn't Cloud Austin this uh, month a Kubernetes thing? Is that what I saw? Um, it's a it's a talk about Kubernetes. Yeah, fair enough. So not not the actual workshop, but if mm -hmm. uh, if your appetite has been whetted for all the Kubernetes, uh, uh, Cloud Austin this month will have some more as well. Um, uh, yes, Boyd. Next Thursday, uh, Austin DevOps is Habitat actually too. Oh, so super. Good deal. Yeah, for for those of you that don't uh, frequent stuff like this, uh, ask around. There's a rich set of uh, technical user groups here in Austin, uh, Cloud Austin, Austin DevOps, Docker Austin, yep. uh, uh, that that continue to do stuff uh, around uh, around these topics. So if you want uh, more opportunities like this, uh, that's how you do it. Anything else before we uh, introduce our keynote speaker? Any other questions or comments? All right, Doesn't we'll get like to it. the keynote. Uh, after the keynote will be a lovely happy hour on the uh, third floor terrace. Uh, it's being uh, catered in by the uh, UT folks, so there will be uh, there will be drinks of various forms uh, and refreshments. Uh, so come on out for that. And we'd like to thank Chef for that as well. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Chef. Is anybody from Chef still here in the room? Yeah. Jody's oh, right there. there we go. Thank you personally. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Good deal. Awesome. Well, do you want to do the honors? All up to you. Yes, sir. Shout out to actually um, all our volunteers and the folks from TAC. Um, could you all stand up real quick? Yes. The purple Woo! people. So absolutely. So we, we couldn't put on events like this without uh, folks uh, in the uh, uh, in the community willing to come out and put up signs and tables and help people find their way around and get a free ticket into the conference and all that sort of thing. So uh, thanks very much to our volunteers, and uh, we encourage everybody to uh, volunteer at the local conferences. It really uh, helps out a lot. Well, 